everybody, my name is Josh Williamson and welcome to my keto vlog. This is now number three and my, my third keto vlog here, what I want to talk about is talking about giving up and talking about no changes. Uh, I read a lot of comments, people are having troubles losing weight still and people wanting to give up. And I just want to say that I can really sympathize with you because I feel the same way as well. Uh, I don't generally post that and when that does happen to me, I generally can uh, just tell myself that you're not going to give up because if you do, then you're going to probably gain weight again. And keto has worked for me. Yeah, I have lost weight and I do have higher energy levels is once in a while what is happening is uh, I will feel some fatigue or I will notice that uh, I'm not losing the inches like I was before or I wasn't uh, <clears throat> losing any weight on the scale but for one never use the scale the scale does not help you uh, you're not gonna know anything from that you are consuming and digesting things all the time they say check your weight first thing in the morning, but you don't know what you're losing and what you're gaining. So you need to be very careful with that. So um, the most accurate is to definitely check yourself first thing in the morning, but it's not as accurate as actually measuring your body fat. You know, get a soft tape, measuring tape, waist, chest, do your arms, do your legs, do all that kind of stuff and that's how you're going to find out if you are actually losing anything. The scale, yeah, it's not a good idea, especially people who are exercising because when we're exercising we're gaining muscle too. So what I want to say about giving up is don't do it. Don't give up on your keto diet unless it's actually ruining you and if you do feel like it's ruining you, find out what you can do to make sure that it doesn't ruin you. Uh, in my, one of my last videos, I said that you will have consistent energy levels throughout the day. And that is true if you do it properly. That means you have to keep eating throughout the day, right? And have fat. If you are gonna, if you know what time of day where you're starting to really feel sluggish, have some healthy fats and don't eat too much. Because if you eat too much, then you're gonna feel sluggish anyways because you had too much to eat. So, you know, I'm talking about eat some avocado with something or have some nuts. Those have some healthy fats in them too. Uh, cook something with some ghee butter, the bacon fat too, like, or just have some bacon, bacon and avocado. Like you'll, it'll boost straight up. What else you need to get is some MCT oil. MCT oil will really help you with some coffee and ghee butter, bulletproof coffee. It'll work for you, it's perfect. I, I love that stuff. But anyways, at the end of the day, don't give up, do not get discouraged. You made the choice already to make yourself better. You made the choice to be more healthier. And since you did that, you owe it to yourself to stick it through. Um, when people tell me that they stuck it through for two months and they're ready to give up because it's been two months, I'm like, it's only been two months. And a lot of people are talking about, oh, I lost, I only lost 30 pounds or 20 pounds. I'm like, holy shit, really? That's a lot. <laughs> I've never lost that much weight, but I'm still doing keto. But I, my total weight loss is like 10 pounds in two months. And I'm happy with that because I never lost weight that fast before. And I never had this much energy before either. So make sure what you're doing is doing your research. Uh, talking in these groups are good, but I find that a lot of people in these Facebook groups are talking, and that's all they're doing, is they're just talking. They're not doing. Don't do your... Asking questions and stuff in the Facebook group is good, but it's not great. The What's great is doing your own research. Use Google. Pick up a book. You can go, you can buy it on Amazon, you can go to Chapters and you can buy those keto books. They're like under 20 bucks, a lot of them. And then you could sell it on Kijiji after for half the price or whatever. So you only paid 50% for that book regardless. Uh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, and all the, all the resources that I'm using, books and stuff that I buy is mostly so that I can get 
that information and then put that information out to you. Uh, in the description down below, uh, I'll put a few more uh, food ideas, energy ideas, because I think that kind of goes hand in hand together. People are having troubles with their energy and uh, that's what makes them want to quit. And people, some people are feeling sick too. And what that is, it's sugar. Why are you shitting like crazy? Why do you got the squirts? Yeah, it's from the sugar, the different sugars that you're, that you are eating. Um, I'm gonna put a link down below too. I wanna do a video that's all about sugars, but these two people, I forget who they are, but I'll put a link down below. They did a test on all the sugars and they tested their glucose and their ketone levels after every single uh, sugar that they had. They did it once every day in the morning. They ate the sugar, they did the ketone test and the glucose test, and they can tell you what are the best sugars that you can have. And uh, yeah, I, I found, I, I was like kind of blown away by the, their results, and you will be too. And uh, so that link will be down below. And also I'll have the, the link below on uh, different things to help people with their uh, with their energy levels, the different types of, the, oh, I'm gonna have the MCT oil, I'm gonna have all that stuff and then I'll put their links to the to Amazon. And so you can either go to Amazon to buy it or you can at least compare prices that way as well. Uh, and lastly, I just want to, um, th there's something about people talking about getting, having headaches too. And keto flu, but that's a whole nother video I wanna talk about with the keto flu. And uh, it's not really the flu, but uh, normally people are getting at the very beginning of their, uh, when they first start the diet, and it's their body is just not used to it. And so it's going through those changes, you're depleting your body of sugars and carbohydrates. And when you do that, uh, that, in, that in the moment of that uh, transgression or whatever, from going from one to the other, uh, you, you, you can get sick. I didn't, it didn't happen to me. I never ever felt that way before, but uh, I hear about it a lot. And also the headaches. And I actually get the headaches, but I don't get them often. And as soon as I get a headache, first thing I remember think about is how much water did I drink that day. Uh, I went to a lot of different websites, and you are supposed to drink your body weight in ounces. So I'm 180, so I'm supposed to drink 180 ounces of water. Um, being on a keto diet, we retain less water, so I don't know if we have, can drink less because of that. Uh, I didn't research that part, but I know that the more water I drink, the less headaches I had today. But today, like, I was like, perfect. I worked out this morning. This is it's evening, actually. It's like, um, uh, probably almost six o'clock, actually. I gotta go. I'm at work. And, um, also, uh, so this morning, I, I got up MCT oil, like I had the Bulletproof coffee, they got me through my first workout, and then once I got working, I was doing my, doing my work, what I do, I'm a cook, chef, and then I, uh, I had some avocado, and then later on, I had some, uh, actually I had turkey today, we were doing turkey today, so I chopped that up and I put it in some mayonnaise, and I ate that cucumber boat actually, except for I didn't have tuna, so I did the turkey. So much information that it's, some of this, Information is useless, but anyways, uh, so that's kind of how I keep my my diet and how I keep my energy levels up every couple hours. I people say how many times do you eat a day? Well, it's actually for me, it's about five times. I eat five times a day, but I eat five small five small meals, and they all have a little bit of fat in them, and it carries me on to the next one. And so that's why I was able to finish my my shift. So I was up at seven o'clock this morning. I went to the gym, I did my exercise, I worked all day, now we're told, then I worked out right after work, now I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go feed my kids and do all the stuff that dads have to do. So, anyways guys, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video, bye, because I'm gonna end the video right here. If you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe right now. If you guys are still watching, <laughs> if you guys are still watching, then make sure you subscribe and make sure that you guys hit the notification so you guys can see more videos. Um, I want to see you guys in the comment section. Go down, comment down below. What do you guys want to see next? You guys, I'm going to see you there. You guys are going to see me in my next video. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Peace.